switch S in the circuit was at position A, that means in this position for a long time and is moved to B at T equal to 0. Find this current A of T for all T. So you take your time and try this question. We can simplify the circuit a bit further because we have two capacitors here in parallel and that in series with a 0.2 microfarad capacitance. So we have a 0.5 micro and 0 0.5, 0 0.3 microfarad capacitances in parallel. So the effective will be effective circuit we can draw it here. And the source, the 10k resistor. Now we can put an equal capacitance. We have the switch and we have I of T through pi kilo. Now what is the value of this capacitance? We have 0.5 and 0.3 in parallel. These are capacitance. So remember the equivalent capacitance will be 0.8 micro. Now that in series with 0.2, so equivalent capacitance will be 0.8 into 0.2 by 0.8 plus 0.2. That will be 0 0.16 microfarads. So instead of that circuit we can redraw it with a, an equivalent capacitance of 0.6 microfarad. Now the switch S was at position A for a long time. That means it have achieved its steady state. So under steady state what happens? Under volt power supply here. That means the capacitor get charged to 100 volts. That is initial potential of the capacitor, initial voltage across the capacitor V initially will be volts. When the switch is moved to position B, we have an initial potential of 100 volt across this capacitor, across this 0.16 microfarad capacitor. Now it discharges through the resistor and attains a final steady state voltage across the capacitance of 0 volt. That means the capacitor exponentially discharges through the resistor giving rise to a current I of T. So it is clear that the final value of the current will be 0 and the initial current will be 100 by pi k. To find out what is the current I of T, first we will find out what is the voltage across the capacitance or the DK equation of the capacitance then divide it by the resistance in order to find out the current. Now to find out what is the voltage, how the voltage exponentially decay, we need one more term that is the time constant tau which is given us RC, RC time constant. We have R here which is 5k and we have the capacitance here which is point 1.6 micro which gives to the time constant will be 8 into 10 power minus 4. Okay. Now what is the equation for a capacitor discharging to a resistor? It will be an exponential decay. That means you can write the general equation as V across the capacitor is V final plus V initial minus V final exponential of minus T by tau. Okay, that means we have 100 e power minus T by 8 into 10 power minus 4. That is nothing but 100 e power minus 
1250 what we have found out is the voltage across the capacitor for all time t now to find i of t which is nothing but voltage across capacitance by pi k that will be that is 0.02 e power minus 1250 